This is a project that I've been wanting to do ever since we bought the RV and that is replacing these awful speakers with something that actually works better. And my speaker of choice is the Poke Audio DB651s and I've used these on boats for many many years. They're not all that expensive and they are marine rated. Now actually these are discontinued. Uh, I believe the new model is the DB652. However, you can find these still in stock and I think I paid around $65 for the pair, and they are fairly decent speakers. Now, can you buy better ones? Oh, of course you can. But you'll see when I install the speakers, it looks like the coach was originally wired with real thin 24 gauge wire. You know, I'm not going to spend $250 for a set of JL speakers when the wiring is not up to snuff, and I'm just not prepared to tear into the roof to rewire them. Well, here are what the speakers look like. This is with the surround, and they don't look too bad. Now, on one of the boats I used to have, I actually painted these white. Now, one issue you're going to run across, and I've talked about this before, is these terminals are smaller than the standard quarter-inch terminals. And this is a .187 terminal. And this is about a .182 terminal. And these are very narrow or kind of hard to find. You almost have to go to a specialty store. And, but they fit into here with a small terminal. Now you can always just solder them in. That's always the option. But you know you're going to do yourself a favor by getting the right size terminals. And these actually come off like that. They're just twist off. Held on with three screws. And you'll see these are awful thin wires here. One thing that you want to check, though, is to make sure you have a good solid surface or a good solid base for the speakers. And this is at least a half inch plywood here. And these particular speakers, look at that, they did a real good job there, didn't they? And here's one of the new pokes compared to the old one. You'll see on the pokes that it has a plus and minus marked on it. There is no polarity marking on this one, and the wire also has a polarity marking. So you may ask yourself, which is which? Well, in reality, it doesn't matter. What does matter is both speakers are wired the same, because the speakers, they're doing this. But if both speakers are not wired the same, the speakers will be out of phase, and they'll sound kind of muddy. You won't get a very good stereo sound. So as long as the negative wire on both sides go to the same side wire, you're fine. And so we can look at the difference between the two. Look at the size of the magnet difference between the two. Tinny thing. You'll also notice this has a separate tweeter. This has no tweeter, so no high frequencies. These are much, much better. Sorry I couldn't show you the step-by-step. -step. It was just uh, too hard to do uh, while doing the camera. And I actually had to have some help. And one thing that you'll probably find out is that the screw holes don't necessarily line up. They may be three instead of four, like this one requires four and the old one was three. But the diameter of the pattern of the screw was different. So if I tried to use just one of them to get it started, it was hitting the cutout. So basically I just took a drill and put a screw in it and then just got the first one started. And once I got it in there, then I did the rest. And one nice feature of these speakers is that these tweeters, you can adjust them to the right or the left. And for further information of this project, be sure to visit my website. And I'm posting a link here for your convenience. And it should go without saying, but I'll say it anyway. Uh, account for all of your hardware. And you certainly don't want this laying here when you retract the slides, because this can gouge your floor.